Over the last year, we've been slowly converting my 2,000 gallon aquarium into more of a community oriented aquarium. And at first we had some sevrums and some angelfish, uh, some walru, tiger barbs, some denizen barbs, uh, as well as some archer fish. Now the archer fish look absolutely amazing in this tank, but I thought if we had them in more of a species specific tank, they'd be able to perform well in there. Plus we could finally add a ton of tetras and smaller fish to the 2000 gallon aquarium because nothing in there is really going to go after them besides the archer fish. So you guys will remember we uh, drained the tank partly, we removed the archer fish and while we were in there decided, you know what, we'll go ahead and rescape it. Oh, and the archer fish simply went into a temporary holding tank. After doing a massive water change, the bacteria don't no, no longer really have as much food as they once did because we're kind of removing it from the water column. Not only were we doing that, but we added in a tremendous amount of more fish. So again, kind of asking for a, an ammonia spike if you ask me. So to kind of protect me from that, I added in this uh, Fritz Zyme Monster 360. Now Fritz sent me this a little while ago. Actually, it was probably a year ago or so, maybe more. And essentially what it does is it, uh, it basically has sludge eliminating bacteria that rapidly digest waste. You could kind of read it right there. Uh, and you guys will remember once I stirred up all that substrate, we created an absolute mess. But once I added this in a couple days later, tanks almost back to normal, a little foggy, but we'll deal with it. So really liking this stuff. And then of course we added in all the Tetras. Now I did this a few days ago and here's how that went. Everybody's been placed in this bucket. Uh, you guys will remember the original, there's gotta be at least what, 100, 200 fish in here. Um, there are festivums, there's discus, there's blue tetras, there are red-eyed tetras, there's a couple different types of rainbow fish. We've got a mono shrimp that I think are gonna do really good in here, uh, despite what we might think, that the other fish will eat them and whatnot. Uh, the tank's just huge, I think they're gonna be fine. Uh, we also have auto synchless, which is an amazing little uh, algae eater, I think is gonna be a great addition. This is like all community t uh, fish type animals and, and again i don't know if i said festivums but you'll notice there's only four discus in here right now that's because i don't know if i want to put all 10 in here just now so i move six of them that i think have the best breeding possibilities into a 40 gallon breeder and we'll see what happens uh maybe we'll separate or maybe we'll just add them all into the 2000 at some point but right now we're going to try out four see how they do uh and we'll go from there i'm going to add them all at once from the bucket for a simple reason uh this is going to help diffuse aggression nobody's going to be picked off of course I could have netted them one at a time and kind of put them in, but putting them all at once, simply 100, 200 fish all at once, is definitely going to diffuse that type of aggression of being picked off or being singled out or anything like that. I also don't have to worry about the acclimation process of matching the water's temperatures or anything like that because everything out here in this gallery is identical from the water temperature to uh, the parameters like hardness and pH. Everything is absolutely the same, so there's no worry about that either. Go ahead and add them in. Okay, so they're a little confused, a little scattered. Even the festivums are like swimming out and about with everybody. Um, they are more of a middle column water swimmer. So I feel like they're going to spend most of their time out here. But we'll see what happens there. Uh, the tetras are kind of grouping up. The best tetra you can get for schooling. Look them go. I'll throw it at the back. They'll find out. You know, they're just exploring the tank at this point. But those red-eyed tetras are absolutely amazing. Look at the blue tetras swimming along with the denizens, like they're all uh, like a gang. Even the rainbows look good. We got some uh, little dwarf rainbows in here. Look at the, the blue tetras are literally swimming with, along with the di denizens. Perhaps because, watch, like, like following them. They're going with them. Wait, I can't wait until the, uh, this is insane. I've never seen anything like that. This is such a big tank for fish to kind of act far more naturally. This is going to be absolutely incredible aquarium to follow along with. It, you know, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but you know, even the uh, auto synchless, where is it? It's not in focus. The auto synchless are already, they'll have a ball in here. This tank's aged pretty well. It's been going for what, five years, four years. So um, plenty of a little bit of everything to eat in there. Um, I did think the uh, festivums might hang out with the angels a little bit more than anything else. But we'll see over time. The big guys, of course, are always going to kind of circle around the uh, the bottom of the tree. Look at the uh, the walru. These guys are huge guys. Like in person, these walru, like I'd be like ten inches or so, just massive. Yeah, 
this this aquarium is, is is gorgeous i don't even know what to look at like it's really hard to film this tank i do not know what to film and it's not perfectly clear just yet that will happen and you know in due time but look at the tetra swimming all amongst the uh the vines there this is insane those are the red eye tetras a, a beautifully schooling fish there's a few of the blue tetras in there as well i think the red eye tetras will scatter them out of there eventually and they will join the gang like that's a gang and I think the Denizens know it because they're rarely this excited, but they're swimming around like, like knowing they made it, you know, it, it's no longer, you know, that m number, what is there, like 10 of them, 8 of them, I don't remember, but uh, now there's going to be like 50 of them. I think they're just, look, they're so, they're so uh, brazen around the war room and stuff. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. And this is the tank as of today, looking absolutely phenomenal by far my favorite rendition of the 2000 gallon aquarium over the past four years it's just absolutely gorgeous there's i can't get bored of this aquarium i mean there's just so much going on so much life watching the tetras and the rainbows uh you know and and all how all the cichlids are kind of interacting and then of course the denies and barbs just swim by in a in a shoal right there just a gorgeous aquarium one of the things that's really cool is the festivums kind of stick together um i'm they think i'm about to feed them so they're breaking up right now so this is a bad time to say that but uh i've also noticed that uh we do have plenty of the uh amano shrimp in there as well I, they're tough to spot anyways but they were doing well this morning um discus are hiding right now all kind of behind the background but they come out every once in a while mind you they, they only got added three days ago so and when i feed they do come out and eat so that's an absolute positive thing that's the one of the most important things when uh making sure a fish is okay of course is that not only are they breathing okay settling in not being picked on but then of course go back to normal life and start eating again i've already kind of been posting videos of this on instagram so if you're not following me uh, there make sure you check me out uh links in the description or you can simply just look me up you'll find me pretty easily but anyways everybody in this tank is is just it's it's something that like i come out here and i i almost gasp getting to see it in person and this is and and, and this is my fish tank like it's it's just an unbelievable thing you know one thing i gotta do there's a piece of biological media right there i gotta get that out every time i look in this tank i see that immediately it's funny where your eyes are drawn to isn't it when you guys first look at this what is the first thing you kind of your eyes are drawn to if we back up a little bit and you were just to see this for the first time is it the tetras is it that tree trunk um, the Walru are acting really, really strange lately in terms of their coloration. You'll notice from this video compared to the last, they're, they're darkening up a bit. You'll also notice they're kind of a, a coupler in there, kind of bur burrowed. Uh, we did have some breeding action here off and on, so we'll see what goes on there. But this tank is just, it's just gorgeous. Now here's something that I never got to do before that we can do now, and that is get a full view from this side remember the tree was over here more and it kind of blocked off the viewing angle and you know i guess i wasn't really considering this side and just mostly looking at it from one side but this tank is just absolutely gorgeous i have a couple of more videos we have to do on this aquarium including we need to add in the original fish that were bought for this tank that have been sitting in quarantine for four months and that is uh i don't know a hundred tetras a hundred more tetras or something like that uh, a ton of corydora and, and so a few other little surprises that are in that tank that I, I can't wait to add to it but there's about 200 fish more that we're going to be adding and by the end of it we'll probably have about 500 fish in this um i think that we added maybe a hundred 150 today uh in this video probably closer to 100 we'll call it 100 um and then the next one's definitely 200 so make sure you subscribe for that if you're not already because this tank is just it, it's just absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful mind you i don't want to confuse anybody that i'm just running to the store and tossing fish in an established aquarium and it's not like i'm also not preparing the aquarium for a new fish addition these fish are quarantined properly sometimes for months on end and when it, that happens of course it's in a uh, unintentional uh, and things just kind of uh, got sidetracked of whatnot or plans changed etc Man, just watching this fish. I'm going to go back to where the big guys are. 
but they're all properly you know quarantined and whatnot look at these guys. man these is just a beautiful beautiful tank what's your guys's favorite part of this aquarium and what would you have added next we need life on the bottom of the tank and i'm really tired of the corridor that are already in there only coming out at night time so um i think they get behind the background of whatnot because when we did our big water change i didn't uh, really see many i seen like five or six of them or whatnot but uh, now that, oh, we have auto sinkless in this aquarium now as well. Um, man, this is like a true community aquarium. Imagine taking like a 30 gallon and 50 gallon tank like most of you guys have, I asked in the last video, and just supersizing it to 2,000. Fish stay the same, but you know, just multiply in numbers. And, uh, it, it, and, and this is it. It's just, I love this. It's a beautiful, awesome aquarium. Maybe a little too busy. Look at the Waru gang life. Loving it. Look at that Severum. Oof, gorgeous. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish here. Um, I do say, and I will admit, one of the things I don't like about it the most, oh, and the Festivums aren't going to stay up near the top of the surface forever. Um, once they get some size on them, they won't be hanging out with the rainbow fish and whatnot. But one of the things that if I could change about this aquarium is probably all the different species of Tetra. I definitely would have went with one or two species. As you can see, the red eyes just kind of stick together in school, and I probably should have did something more like that. But at the end of the day, it's a 2,000 gallon aquarium, um, and uh, I thought having something, uh, a bunch of different types, would fill the space in a lot more, which would look a lot better. Now, if this is 180 gallon or 120 or 55 or something, I'd definitely go with one or two species, um, because I think that would look uh, tremendously better but I'd love to know what you guys think and get your thoughts look at him he's darkening up right now so the male severum will or the ma male walrus will do that when he's trying to show off for the female so what he's doing is he's darkening up and he's showing off to the female say look how healthy I am look how big and robust I am and how dark I am and how much I can protect you I'd love for this to focus on him instead of uh, everything else swimming in front of me it's like owning a bunch of kids and, he, and, and I'm trying to film something else and they're like daddy daddy look at me daddy are you looking daddy daddy <laughs> Look how much he changed. He's back to normal. He was just showing off for a quick second. Man, that's just insane. I love Walu. I can't wait for them to breed in this tank, if they do. You know, ultimately, I'm not... Uh, my focus isn't on breeding. I've done enough of that um, with every type of fish, you know, that you could imagine. But I, uh, I love this. Like, this is insane. Guys, I, I, got, I can't be wrong, right? I, well, I guess I can be wrong at times, but I mean, this tank is awesome. And well, it is in my opinion. I think it's just crazy. I think that there's things I could have did different or things you would do different. So let me know in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do, uh, because we're going to be adding in those 200 more fish here shortly. And then once everybody's established, we'll do a proper feeding video. Um, you know, two more videos on this aquarium. And then we really, really got to move on to some other things that are really, really big that I'm working on right now that you guys are going to uh, lose it over. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.